it's the final part of our Newcomers to the Premier League mini-series and today we're off to one of English football's most successful team over 30 years ago. That's right, Liver, I mean Nottingham Forest and their home of the city ground. We're heading back to the mid-19th century when the Premier League's oldest club, sorry Crystal Palace, you're disputed, was formed in 1865. During the early years, the club would play their games at the Forest Recreation Ground in the north of Nottingham, so you can probably guess where they got their name from. As the ground was common land, the club were not able to make money from playing their games there, making money from the players' membership fees instead. This setup would work for 14 years until Forest would reach the semi-finals of the FA Cup and the competition rules required spectators to be charged admission. This led the club to move to the Castle Ground in the south of the city within a place called the Meadows. This move allowed the club to charge admission and hence generate revenue from their ground and this rapidly increased the club's following. With all this growing attention, Forest started to play their matches at the Trent Bridge Cricket Ground. However, this arrangement didn't last long when they were replaced by Notts County. After moving in between venues, the club would settle at a new home called the Town Ground in 1890 and this would be the club's first proper football stadium. In 1897, the ground would be renamed the City Ground in honour of Nottingham being granted city status. But as with any newly formed government institution, the power would come to the city's head and would boot Forest out of the City Ground as they planned to develop the site. The club were offered an alternative site south of the river, which the club would take up and their new home would take the original name of the City Ground. The ground would officially open in September 1898 with a game against Blackburn Rovers with a wooden slatted main stand and a narrow wooden shelter covering the width of the Trent End. In 1922, the ground would take the accolade of being the first ground to have elliptically shaped goalposts, setting a trend that would take English football by storm. After winning promotion to the second division in 1950, the club drew up plans to redevelop the city ground. The first upgrade was the extension and covering of the Trent End in 1954. In 1957, a new East Stand would open, being able to seat 2,500 fans and together with the upgrade of the Conwick Road Terrace, increased the capacity of the stadium to 48,000. Ten years later, after a major upgrade of the Main Stand, later renamed the Peter Taylor Stand, the ground would host its biggest match against who other than Manchester United, with 49,946 fans. A year later, in 1968, a fire broke out during a match against Leeds United. Fortunately, there were only a few minor injuries, but the stand had suffered considerable damage, including many of the club's records and trophies being lost in the fire. During the rebuilding of the stand, the club would play six matches at their home with the local rivals, where they failed to win once. As most folk are aware, the late 1970s were the golden years for Forest, and with that success came a lot of dollar available to invest in the stadium. This culminated in investing in a 10,000 seater stand, which was later named the Brian Clough Stand. With the arrival of the Taylor Report in the 1990s, the club unveiled plans to build a 45,000 seater stadium in the west of the city, which was to be shared with local rivals Notts County. Despite Notts County being keen on the idea, it was subsequently abandoned after Brian Clough declared over my dead body and threatened to quit if plans were approved. In preparation for Euro 96, the ground saw some new additions, including a new Brickford stand, which was required to have a strange looking roof to allow sunlight to reach houses along Colmwick Road. And another stand along the River Trent was constructed, called the Trent End unsurprisingly, which would hold 7,400 fans, taking the capacity of the ground to over 30,000 spectators. After numerous proposals to move Forest away from the city ground, the club secured a 250 year lease on the ground in 2019, firmly cementing Forest to the ground for generations to come. Moving into the future, the club has plans in the pipeline to build a new 10,000 seater Peter Taylor stand, including a museum, retail and of course, more hospitality. With an expected completion date of 2024, it will make Nottingham Forest Stadium one of England's biggest grounds in the Championship. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs>